Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, ang i-discuss naman natin is yung 2019 Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge Division Orals for Grade 6. So ang i-discuss natin is yung difficult round uh, questions para at least malaman natin ano ba yung mga pwede nating approach dun sa mga questions na good for 60 seconds or less. So what I can do is I will read the questions mga Lodi or if you want, I can type it in sa comment section natin para makita niya yung mismong questions tapos yun na i-dictate ko muna for the meantime so before that before that shout out muna kay ano kay Jason Tipon Tipon from Cebu hi Lodi uh, congrats sa pagiging LPT mo and I hope you all the best God bless as always okay simulan na natin number 1 the length of a rectangle is increased by 10% so yung length ang ginawa it increased by 10% Lagyan na lang natin ng arrow, ah, na up. 10% up. And the width is decreased by 20%. So, width is decreased by 20%. The question is, what is the percentage change in the area of the rectangle? So, kapag tinanong tayo mga mathletes, mga coaches, regarding the percentage change, so, hindi lang dapat yung percent yung include natin. What we need to include as well is kung increase ba siya, or decreased. Kasi, nilagay mo yung percent, pero hindi specific. So, mali pa rin yun. Kasi, hindi siya specific. Hindi naman, masabi kung increase ba yun or decrease. So, you just put the percent. Mali yun. Okay? So, ganito po yung approach dyan. Number one approach, pwede kang mag-assume. So, pwede kang mag-assume na kunyari, ang length at saka width ay parehas. Bakit? Ang best assumption kasi dyan, kapag binigyan ka ng rectangle, is mag-isip ka ng square. Kasi a square is a rectangle, mga lodi. So, ang pwede mong gawin dyan, mag-isip ka ng length. Let's say, yung length natin is equal to 10. Yung width natin is equal to 10. So, ano yung area niya normally, mga lodi? I mean, yung uh, una nating assumption, 10 times 10, that is 100. So, if the length is increased by 10%, ano 10% ng 10? Okay, tama ka dyan, idol. That is 11. So, that is, I mean, 1 siya. So, that's add natin. So, that's 10 plus 1. That is 11 now. 10 plus 1, 11. Kasi nag-increase tayo ng 10%. Ano 20% ng 10? So, that's 2. E, nag-decrease. 10 minus 2, that is 8. So, ano mangyari? Ano na yung magiging new area natin? 11 times 8, that is equal to 88. So, from that part, mga Lodi, ano na nangyari? So, from 100, naging 88 siya. Therefore, 100 minus 12 is, minus 88, sorry, is equal to 12. So, ang magiging sagot dyan, that will now become, so, decrease by 12%. So, ito na yung magiging final answer na doon, mga Lodi. Or, ang pwede mong gawin din dyan, mga Lodi, is yun nga. So, kunyari, i-assume mo na 1 sila parehas. So, ang ginagawa ko kasi minsan dyan, kapag uh, length and width, so, ginagawa ko siyang 1. So, magiging, kung increase by 10%, yung 1, 1.1. Times, kapag decreased by 20%, so, that is 0.8. Kapag minultiply mo, that is 0.88. So, 1 minus 0.88, which is equal to 0.12, that is equivalent to a decrease in the area by 12%. So, ganun lang siya. So, ulitin ko, a square is a rectangle. Okay? Proceed tayo sa question number 2. Question number 2. A wire 80 cm in length. So, for number 2, meron daw tayong wire na 80 cm yung length is cut into 2 parts in the ratio 3 is to 1. Ang hinahanap, each part is bent to form a square. What is the total area of the two squares? So, ganito lang yan, mga Lodi. Ang first step, you have to analyze. I mean, you have to find the partitions. So, ang gagawin natin, hanapin natin yung mga parts natin na kung saan yung 80, i-divide natin in the ratio 3 is to 1. So, ang gawin lang natin dito, i-add lang natin siya, 3 plus 1, that's 4. 80 divided by 4, that is 20. 20 times 3, that is 60. 20 times 1, that is 20. So, we have 60 and 20. So, yung 60 and 20 centimeters natin, mga Lodi, ito na yung panibagong perimeter ng, mga dalaw ng dalawang wires na binent natin. So, if the perimeter is 60, 
So, perimeter is 60. That is equivalent to 4S. That is the side of the first. Let's say S1. So, yung side nung una natin, 15. Same thing goes for the next one. 20 is equal to S2. 4S2, sorry. Ang S2 natin ay 5. Ano ba hinahanap, Sir IJ? Ang hinahanap yung sum ng areas. Ano area ng square? S times S. Tama ka dyan, Lodi. So, yung sum ng area natin, area total, that is equivalent to 15 squared plus 5 squared. Kasi side times side, 15 times 15. So, ilan yung 15 squared to 2, 5? 5 squared, that's 25. Therefore, the final answer should be 250 uh, square centimeters. So, ganyan lang siya mga lodi. Yung partition na yun, perimeter pa lang yun. You have to identify first the side after that. Okay? Next, number 3. If you can read 2.5 pages per minute. So, 2.5 pages per minute. Ang inahanap, how many pages can you read in 2 hours? So, for this question, you just need to convert everything into minutes. So, yung 2 hours, that is equivalent to times 60 minutes for every 1 hour. So, that is around 100. So, that is equal to 120 minutes. Ang sinabi, 2.5 pages per minute. So, just multiply. So, that will now be 2.5 pages per minute times 120 minutes. Kaya mapapansin nyo, the minutes will be cancelled. Kasi nga, ang hinahanap natin is pages. 120 times 2.5, so that is 300 pages. Okay? Next, number 4. So, burayin muna natin mga Lodi, ha? So, this, uh, these are easy questions lang naman. So, just uh, ba additional inputs lang naman siguro yung mga sinasabi ko. And as well as dun sa mga bago lang din sa MMC, sa Metro Bank Ma Challenge. So, ayun mga Lodi. Ganito po talaga yung mga type ng questions dito. Okay? For number 4, so, abasahin natin mga Lodi. In a class of 30 students, 12 play football and 17 play volleyball. Of these, 5 students do both. How many students in the class do not play football nor volleyball? So the best to, the best uh, diagram that can uh, can answer this is using Venn diagram. That is yung dalawang circle mga lodi. Kasi nga bakit dalawa sir IJ? Kasi nga ang given lang is football pati volleyball. So let's say this is the football and this other circle is the volleyball thingy. So, ano mangyayari dyan? Ang sinabi, uh, in a class of 30 students, 12 play football. 12 to ah. The 12 means hindi silang lahat. I mean, hindi yung ano, ito lang. I mean, silang lahat kasama yun nasa gitna. Tapos sinabi, 17 play volleyball. So, 17 to. Of these, 5 students do both. So, yun na yung pinakamagiging key natin. 5. O, 12 minus 5, 7. Ano yung 7, Sir IJ? 7 playing football only. So, wala silang piniplay na volleyball. They just play football only. Uh, 17 minus 5, that is 12. Meaning, 12 plays volleyball only. E, eh, ilan ba silang lahat? Ang total should be 30. So, ibig sabihin yan, merong mga hindi naglalaro. Kasi ang inahanap, how many in students in the class do not play football nor volleyball? So, ang gagawin mo lang dyan, 7 plus 5 plus 12, that is equivalent to 24. Therefore, 24 are playing football or volleyball. So, there are 30 minus 24. Therefore, we have 6 students who do not play neither football nor volleyball. Sila yung mga outcasts. Hindi sila sporty. Hindi, mga lodi, dyan lang. Pero, I mean, based dun sa construction ng tanong natin, yun yung magiging sagot natin. Okay, ang pinaka ginagawa nila dito, minimental nga lang to ng ibang mga kids eh. So, ang ginagawa lang nila, 12, 17, 12 plus 17. 29 minus 5 kasi both 24. Therefore, 24 yung total natin. 30 minus 24, that's 6. Okay, number 5. A vendor buys oranges at 3 for 25 pesos. Tapos, ano yung isa? And plans to sell them at 5 for 45 pesos. Ito yung nagbuy siya. Ito yung plano niyang pagbenta. How many oranges must he sell in order to make, to make a profit? So, yung profit daw na gusto ng vendor, mga kids, pati mga mathletes, pati coaches, is 200 pesos. So, how do we deal with this type of problem, Sir IJ? 
So, makinig maigi. I'll, I'll show you the trick on how you will do this. So, makinig. 3 for 25. So, ang gagawin mo dyan, you have to analyze or you have to find magkano ba yung presyo ng isang ano bang binigay dito? Orange. So, gagawin mo lang dyan. Di-divide mo lang yan. So, that is 25 over 3. Same thing goes for this. 45 over 5. Eh, di ba nung nagbenta siya, syempre, tutubo siya. So, mas malaki to. This is bigger compared to this one. Di ba? So, ito yung mas malaki. Bigger. Ito yung smaller. Lugi naman siya. Kung mas malaki yung binili niya kaysa dun sa pagbenta niya. Kailangan nga may profit. So, ano pong gagawin natin dyan, Sir IJ? First step, 45 divided by 5 minus 25 over 3. So, isimplify natin, 9 minus 25 over 3, that is equivalent to 9 times 3, that's 27, minus 25, that's 2 thirds. Meaning, 2 thirds yung magiging, ano niya, yung magiging, uh, 2 thirds ng orange yung kailangan para tumubo siya ng piso. So, anong gagawin natin dyan, Sir IG, nakuha natin yung 2 thirds, how do, how do we find the number of oranges, i-divide lang natin yan. So, that is 200 divided by 2 thirds. That is equivalent to 200 times 3 halves, magiging 100 do. Therefore, the number of oranges that he must sell in order to gain a profit of 200 pesos is 300 oranges. Ayan. So, yun po yung technique. Divide, divide, minus, then divide ulit. So, just in case you have questions or clarifications, don't forget to comment on the comment section below, mga Lodi. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and good luck sa darating na Division Orals Nationwide for Metro Bank Match Challenge. I hope you all the best. Just focus, train hard, win easy, train easy, win hard. Hanggang sa susunod na mat videos natin and pagpalain kayo palagi. God bless mga Lodi. Bye-bye.